Well, Mark, first it snowed and then it rained and then things started falling like trees, power lines and carports. It's exactly what everyone feared would happen. <sighs> Another snow day for Stephen Hooper. So, yeah, underneath here is my car. His car and four of his neighbors are trapped, not in the snow, but beneath it, along with their carport. Some tenants were able to drive out right before it all came down around six last night, but Hooper didn't make it in time. It just started from here and just whoo, 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 all the way to the end. Like it was simultaneously like, like they, you know, demolished the kingdom or something. You know, it was, uh, it was unreal. It was heartbreaking it, to see this. I mean, this is our home and this is people's boats out here. At Olympia's West Bay Marina, boat owners got on the roof trying to sweep off the snow but the weight of the Monday night rain brought down two sections of corrugated metal shelter, sinking three boats and damaging several more. Luckily, no one was on board. I heard crackles and crash, and then I looked over and I just seen, <laughs> and I'm just like, I'm screaming, I'm emotional, who's down there? I'm just freaking, I hope nobody's hurt. Even the professionals had problems. Olympia Fire had to help their fellow city road crews after one of their canvas buildings collapsed. Why the rush? It had been covering sand and gravel, items in high demand right now. Even the fire trucks still have to chain up. As soon as we can clear that structure off of the sand, they'll be able to keep doing the sand and gravel for the roads from this point forward. Text me the address again, CJ, just so I have it. But one man's mess is Elias Martinez's fortune. The co-owner of Martinez Fence and Landscape won't be working on fences or landscapes for a while. Owning a Bobcat this week is more valuable than a Jaguar. I could work and, until tomorrow morning. Martinez has been so busy, he's turning work away. He says there's only so many hours in the day. Yesterday, he worked 22 hours straight. That demand is causing delays for cleanups like this. The managers here tell us that they wanted to get this up today, but it'll have to wait till tomorrow. And that way, uh, the owners here are gonna have to wait to see just how badly their cars were damaged. Live in Lacey, Drew Mickelson, King 5 News.